Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of my Babrusk campaign in Still Division 2, playing on the Axis side. Previously we made all of our moves, so now we just need to move on to the next turn and see where the Soviets decide to attack us. We do have the bombers and fighters available, so that's good. We'll be able to use them to help us out. But let's just move on and see what happens. Field Marshal Bush is relieved of his command. General Field Marshal Model replaces him. The model has arrived. Panzer Gruppe is available with 12th Panzer. And so has the Panzer Gruppe with the 12th Panzer Division. Cool. All right, so the 268th Pioneer Battalion is under attack by the 13th Guards Motorized Battalion and the 216th Motorized Rifle Battalion. Okay, so what could happen is they bring in the 15th Guards Tank Brigade in Phase B. That would be unfortunate. They could also bring in the 1001st Self-Propelled Artillery Regiment, but that's okay because we do have Panzer Boxers, but don't really have much else in the way of AT, so that's a little bit awkward. We could, however, not commit too much and use bombers to get rid of things like these Valentines and the VA-10Ms. So I think I'm going to bring in the bombers. And then for phase B, I'm going to bring in the artillery. Just because I can. I could bring in the 303rd Mixed AA Battalion, but I'm pretty convinced that the blocking group Bergen is going to also be attacked this turn. So uh, we will do it like so. Let's jump on in. So if I get away with this it'd be quite nice uh, let's see what they decide to bring oh they didn't actually bring in a third unit so they've only got the uh, the two units in phase a that's cool all right that works out perfectly because my bombers will be able to take care of those nicely i am probably going to use a recon fog wolf at the start and then i'm just going to want to set up some defenses. Now I can definitely put like two MGs in here. We'll have like a Panzerboxer. A couple Panzerboxers maybe on either side. That's going to be quite a simple defense against infantry coming our way. But honestly this map is pretty nice for breakthrough defense. Very nice actually with this hill. Imagine if I had fortifications, this would be beautiful. Alright, well we'll bring in a Panzerbuchser on the left hand side to cover this road. I'm probably going to have like a couple MGs up on the top here to uh, spray down stuff in the open. I do have a couple of Aufklala. I'll move one, let's have one here. Uh, try and get that into cover somewhere. A decent line of sight, cool, and we'll probably do one maybe on this right hand side as well uh, so let's just put it in there okay cool I'll have my commandant be here at the front and then we'll do uh, like a pioneer fjorda they can do 1500 meters away so I mean, maybe I could just do it here and then have uh, a couple of MG's here as well And make them three star because those are going to be three star MGs. I could definitely use like a Pioneer Fjord on the left hand side again with the right range. That's cool. Uh, we'll put, put a couple Pioneers in here. I'll put a couple Pioneers up here. A couple in here. Uh, I'll also put like a Panzerbuchser with those if we need it. All right, I think that's fine for now. Maybe bring up uh, a couple of infantry squads to just help out in the center, maybe. Just in case. And then maybe I use the last points for the JU-88 of some sort. I might bring in the strafing JU-88, actually. That might not be a bad shout. i put a Pioneer in that building. All right, and then we'll bring in that strafing DO 217. Cool. Well, there we go. We are off. Let's see what happens. Like having these MGs is going to be really helpful. I'm just going to make sure this is like on the edge of the tree line. Are they coming in with just a lot of tanks? Hopefully not. 
I can probably kill the BA-10M with the strafing DO. Uh, these Valentines are going to be a little bit of a problem, but they don't do too much damage against infantry, so my MGs will be fine. There's actually two of them. Alright, cool. Oh, we took that out. <laughs> Let's just move these back. They don't take damage. And then we can move them back forwards again. Fine. Right, I'm going to have like another DO come in at some point. Oh, the mortars are coming in. Right, there we go. There's one BO-10 them down. <laughs> Perfect. They are nearly in range. Oh, nice. Okay, very nice. Just hit that infantry unit. Cool. I need to start sort of strafing the Valentines and bombing the Valentines and stuff. I could also do with having my Focke-Wolf find that mortar to kill that. I reckon my Panzerbuchsers can take out these Valentines quite easily. I didn't put any Panzerbuchs on the left, which was a bit of a mistake. Let's bring in some now. Bunk. <laughs> it's like bunk. <laughs> Things they do have like good stealth, so they're really hard for the AI to see. Just gotta get the right criticals and then we're good. Okay, we'll bomb that with the recon. Cool. How many shots do these have? Quite a lot. And um, we'll just use that to spot any future ones. Uh, what's the biggest bombs that I have? Oh, they're all small bombs. Alright, we'll just bring in the, the DOs for now then. Just to strafe stuff. Okay, what's that? Oh, that'll be the uh, M17. It's fine. Well, I'm just going to move this uh, Panzerbuchser forwards. Cool. Uh, that MG should probably fall back. Never mind. <laughs> Look at all these criticals, it's just crazy. I'm gonna have both of these uh, hit the BA-10M there. And uh, this should probably fall back. We've gotta stay out of the way of the Valentines at range, really, if we can. Alright, let's move that MG back. Have the Panzerbuchs to do its work. Another BA 10, 10M there that we can kill. And I'm going to bring in my other Fuck Wolf with the bombs. Oh, make sure these SG is dead. I'm going to need some more infantry for this central area as well, I fear. Uh, Panzerbuchs on the right actually got killed by the Pion or the Flamers. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, 
Oh, we're doing so we're doing well so far, so that's okay. Hitting those mortars. Right, I'm gonna start moving forward to Pan's Boxer. Fine, my Pan's Boxer's on the right have both died. Bring in another couple there. The MG. It's okay. Oh, we're getting shots in from like two sides onto these Valentines, so that's fine. I wonder how good these JU88s are at strafing. We'll give them a go. We ambush that left side quite nicely. Might be worth uh, after this Valentine dies just pulling back those Panzer boxes for now. We'll strafe the unit there. And let's see how this does. I'm curious. Because they only have like a couple less guns, I think, on their nose than the standard ground attack variants. If we can kill this in one pass, then we're in a good spot. Actually, it'd be nice if it kills it now. <laughs> okay, cool. So successful defense so far, which is nice. I'm gonna start buying in some of the bombers now. Because my ground attack DOs will be able to kill off the BA 10 Ms. Well they're saying that there's a couple of M seventeens on the left hand side. I'm gonna have to hope that they come into range of my panzer books as we can kill them. Right, let's move forward to the pioneers here. I think there was like a, a flamer squad in there, but that's okay. Bring up uh, a couple more pioneers just in case. Okay, well we got them. That is fine. Cool. Let's uh, move the pioneers back. Draw them forwards into the panzer boxes. Okay, cool. Two runs from the JU-88 did the job onto a BA-10M, so that's that's nice. Although this <laughs> this Panzer Books is already out of ammunition, almost out of ammunition. I might have to pull that out. Okay, nice. Well, we killed that. M17, we'll try and kill the other one. Alright, let's keep buying more bombers. And I might just put all of these onto auto strike and we'll see how it does. Oh, another MG's gone down. Not good. Uh, this fire this shouldn't shouldn't fire from there. That's not a good idea. Oh, 
Well, that's never blitz. I probably killed an infantry squad. Pretty lazy of me. Let's just move these back and let them get close. Let's go that BA 10 m on the right. There's another mortar there that we can bomb. I'll move back forwards there. It's fine. Have the Panzer Buxers move up. Now these aren't actually doing anything at the moment, which is a little disconcerting. Certainly plenty of targets. Ooh, do need to be careful with my commandant. <laughs> no, please no mortar. Please no mortar. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> M17 on the left hand side that needs to go. Uh, looks like we did also lose our pioneers on the right. We didn't have any um, grenades left, which sucks. It's always a little bit of a problem. <laughs> Where is that mortar on the left hand side as well? We'll just double strafe that. I don't have any more panzer boxes left, so we're going to have to <laughs> be pretty careful from now on. We're going to have to keep these alive if I can. That misses the mark. Oh no. <laughs> Sometimes I think like I just move them into the line of fire accidentally. It's so annoying. <laughs> okay, well we still got that one which is good. Oh no. No. <laughs> well, it is bailed out, which is something, but my, my. Oh, we bombed it. I do have a couple of them still on auto strike, don't I? So, it's fine. Let's bring in the other two strafing ones, because they can kill things like these Razvedikas for us. Um, then we'll bring in just more bombers. I'll put these two onto auto strike as well. Maybe they'll do something handy. Uh, these need to get back into cover of some sort. <laughs>
I'm just going to bomb those units there for sure. He's actually repairing the Valentine there, which is not good. These bombers are so bad. <laughs> so I'll bring up some more pioneers. We need to cover this off. Oh, that's actually strafing now. I didn't even realize those recon planes could strafe. Well, the M17 is dead anyway. That's good. Let's uh, have these move to the back so that we can see those mortars and we can strafe those to death. These have frontal guns, don't they? They should be able to strafe as well. Yeah, I think we just killed that. Yeah, let's use the bombers to just strafe as well. The only trouble with doing that is it will make them take longer to reload, but it's not so bad. Uh, my commandant really needs to just not open fire at all. <laughs> that would be really bad. <laughs> Lost the unit of pioneers. And these two we should probably have moved to that right hand side. These all need to unload into position. Still going to be a, a major defeat, which is good for them. Been a little bit harder than I expected. And that's been the the uh, sort of trend in this campaign so far is just me underestimating how much I actually need. But um, I guess if we hold on, it's all good. Because I haven't put my uh, other units into battle my 88s. So my 88s will be used in the next battle which will more likely use armor so yeah, it will be a good decision in that respect. Oh, I don't kill my panzer books. Uh, I need to keep as many of those alive as possible for future future engagements. Oh shit. Not good. No. <laughs> Gavardi are out of nowhere. <laughs> right, let's uh, make sure we take that out. Make sure we're strafing any units. Cool. Do an entire loop, isn't it? Probably do more damage with the guns on the front of these JU 88s than we do with the bombs. Yeah. 
Yeah, these are just exactly the same as the fighter variants, they just have bombs on them. Yeah, may as well use them. Kind of lost count of the amount of times I bombed that unit on the left though. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Yeah, auto strike didn't seem to work too well, which is interesting. I'm gonna move right back next to those Sepali and probably kill them quite quickly. I think I might have just run onto my own grenade there. <laughs> oh well. well that's another unit taken care of anyway. Actually, gonna push a total defeat. Nice. Speed it up. Look at all those JU 88s coming in. Probably just single out individual units and just annihilate them with a strafing run. I think the unit that attacked us is just going to be destroyed. They're like relying on recon right now. Actually, there was a recon unit, wasn't it? The 13th Guards Motorized Battalion was actually a recon, so that makes sense, I guess. Right, um, let's grab all of these. We'll just go bomb that Gavadi unit on that left side. Oh, never mind. It's already over. Total of victory, 25 minutes, 34 seconds, 156 kills, 20 losses. I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> the Val the Panzer Boxes did uh, pretty well for us to keep us in that. Uh, next time round, we'll have defenses anyway, so things like Valentine's will be destroyed by the Pac-40 bunkers. Um, so yeah, MG-42s all gone down, Panzer Boxes lost quite a few of them, and then a bunch of Pioneers. But I think that was okay. Like The amount we lost was fine. But look at the amount we killed. We killed all of their Valentines, all of their VA-10Ms, uh, the Valentine Comrati, um, the Doso there, the Ogne Machiki, just all that good stuff. Lovely. Look at that. Just destroyed them. Beautiful. Yeah, and this is what I expected to happen after, which is why I didn't in, uh, use the 303rd Mixed AA Battalion, because now the 16th Guards Tank Brigade and the 1001st self propelled Artillery Regiment are both going to attack. Uh, so that is is good. Um, I'm tempted to just bring in the aircraft as well because I don't think I'm going to be using them. Actually, it might be worth saving them because I can use them offensively. Uh, but the good reason to bring them in would be to have more reinforcement points to work with in phase A. So I think we're gonna we're gonna do this because it's quite a significant attack. So that's fine. I will bring that all in, and off we go. And now we're on this map and we have defenses. So this is going to be uh, pretty ridiculous. I'm going to have to be careful with how I actually deploy my defenses because uh, they will be able to destroy them at range with things like the AT-8s. Actually, maybe I don't have to be so worried. No, I probably don't have to be worried at all because I have AT-8s. Uh, so for example, on this right hand side, like these AT-8s are just going to utterly destroy them. Um, yeah, interesting. Okay. Don't know if I want to go, like, up on the hill with these. 
probably just have like a, a wall of them here. The one on the right is probably going to get spotted first. That's the one thing I'm a little bit worried about. But that should cover the entire right side. Um, then we have a bunch more here. These are all going to be um, three star veterancy as well. Which is nice. And we can have a bunch for the left hand side. Cool. Uh, we will put the Commandant in the middle again, I guess. It was a little bit risky before because we didn't know how close they were going to get. I can put Battery Field there. We can put a Battery Field like, right next to these ones as well. And then we can do like a Battery Field 1500 away from that. And then a Valley Führer in between. I can actually give that one a trench. Let's put the Luftwaffe Führer in there as well. Then I can just have that one behind. I think so. Cool. That sorts out our 88s at the start. I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to get the defenses down and I'll be back with you guys in just a bit. The defenses are all set up. Let's get this underway. So you can see that I've <laughs> pretty much put down as much as I can at the front here. The command network is absolutely ludicrous. I have so many leaders and so many commandants that uh, I just have them everywhere. It's, it's pretty nuts. Uh, so most of my units are actually three star. You can see the 88s already opening up here. And I also have the Nebelwerfer that I'm just probably going to fire from the start because honestly those T-3485s are going to just start firing at us very sh shortly. We don't want to take too much damage. Oh, never mind. I might just fire at the uh, Urza's three there actually just to counter battery that. Right, we're starting to take out those units on the right hand side. Perfect. Are using that number of earth for counter batteries actually going to be pretty important. But after it's fired, uh, we can have it jump into the upper blitz. And then we can move the upper blitz afterwards. So with any luck, we'll get that kill. I should probably move it into range of some form of leader unit, honestly. Well, let's see how we do. That was a direct hit initially. Alright, well. We'll move that over here. And I'm going to start bringing in uh, my artillery, actually. I've got a pack 50 That's uh, currently engaging the E34 there. It might be worth me just uh, running a smoke grenade in front of that. Because it's not going to get the kill anytime soon. I'd rather the T-34 just come towards us. This is going to be very, very difficult for them to attack. Honestly, it's probably going to be over pretty quickly. Like having this hell advantage is just nuts. Well, that will likely be reloaded by the time it's uh, been resupplied. Should be good. It means I can probably hit that target again. And uh, this time, hopefully get the kill. Because it will be uh, three stars, so less dispersion, hopefully. Look at that road. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I might have to move back the uh, 88 that is constantly being hit. And it looks like I'm going to need some supply there to actually resupply those 88s. 
with the right shells. Right, if I get the AT one millimeter close enough, then hopefully we're in range to count the battery of the unit on the right hand side. There's so many machine guns here. We got like MG 42s with the SMGs, which are also MG 42s, and then the bunker MG 42. Like any infantry. Look at that. Annihilated. I've actually run out of uh, AP shells on that AT8. That's awkward. <laughs> we do have our supply truck on the way. I've got so many like points that I can use for reinforcements as well. Yeah, let's put these onto a counter battery. Maybe they can target the unit they can see. Oh, my Neville Werf is ready to go anyway. We see where they're firing from. There we go. Keep it sped up. Do you have some interesting units to use here, like the Panzer IV F1 and the Panzer IIs, which is kind of cool. I could probably bring these in, just in case we need to kill infantry at close range. That needs to move back. Can't reload it while it's under fire. You just fire so quickly, it's ridiculous. Admittedly, this bunk is not really in the best place. I have to just keep smoking it off. Only three minutes left. Killed a lot of the T-34s. moving these as far forwards as possible so we can potentially hit these T-34s further back but yeah this is pretty much it I guess I could uh, probably use my rocket planes if I see any of the artillery in the future let's just smoke in front of that again use the mortar this time Have the AT8s move forwards. <laughs> Maybe not that one. Just at the end here. Oh, did I lose one? Wait, what? Where did that die? Oh, on the right hand side. Okay. Well, I guess I didn't really notice that happening, so. Unavoidable. Well, not unavoidable entirely, but. I, think I wasn't paying attention. I was just trying to push up in this center area. How much damage we can do. And there's just so many more units coming in there. I should have probably you know, let them have some points so that I could have killed even more, but 101 kills. <laughs> that is fine. And we lost our single 88, which is a shame because they are going to be quite important. But overall, good defense.
Very good defense. Killed 17 T-34s and uh, 5 T-3485 Comrotis. And that's disorganized all of those units. And we're back to our turn. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do quick is we're going to uh, just take this back. Thank you very much. That's going to open up a lot of ground for us. I don't know why it's opened up that much. Wow. Uh, that's pretty crazy. Uh, I might just have this unit move down like so just to stop them from connecting there okay well that works too i thought they were connected here <laughs> we've just encircled all of these units all right well <laughs> best bet now is to um probably just defend at this bridge Damn, we've just, like, I feel like we crushed this campaign, like, <laughs> way too quickly. Way too quickly. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm going to leave it here. Unfortunately, guys, it's been my time. So, yeah, we, we will leave it, and um, we'll sort out what we're going to do in the next episode. This is, <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. We'll probably remain on the defense here because of the units behind. Um, I need to dig in here. For sure. Uh, we need to pull all of these units down. Very good. And yeah, that's going to set up our defenses. We'll probably come down here and just cut off this bit on the bottom side. Um, but otherwise, that's it. Yeah now hopefully you guys have enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next episode goodbye